Hey gang, Schlocktoberfest wants to rock. Yeah, um, sort of. With a review of the movie Hard Rock Zombies. Yes, it's another zombie movie. I think next year I'm going to try and do less reviews of zombie films. What do you guys think? This one is about a hard rock band who goes to a small town to perform a show. Of course, the people in the small town aren't too big on their kind of music. In fact, they believe that hard rock heavy metal brings on what you would expect them to. <laughs> so they wind up staying at this mansion that is run by what seems like normal people except for the blonde woman in the movie who, at the beginning of it, takes a couple of guys for a swim and they wind up not getting out of it. So they stay at, so, so they stay at the mansion for a couple of days and... But before they go there, this young woman tells them after a show that they shouldn't go because she senses something's going to go wrong. But they go anyway. And what happens? They find out their host is Hitler. And apparently Ava Braun is also there. And she's a werewolf. Uh, the lead singer, Jesse, falls for a local girl named Cassie. That's kind of sort of important. And, uh, well, when the, when the rockers find out a little bit too late about, about, uh, the family who's, who's living in the mansion, Jesse is the only one left, and he tells Cassie to listen to some, something, or some cassette he made. Anyway, uh, she goes to their graves... And all of a sudden starts playing the music, and what do you know, they come back to life for revenge, and they get their revenge on the family, but the family goes into town and winds up taking out pretty much everybody in town. And the rock band become the hard rock zombies, and they become a big hit according to their producer and everything like that, so yeah... So the townspeople have all kinds of ideas that go wrong. <laughs> Of course, and uh, the old man who uh, who tries to come up with all these ideas on how to take care of the zombies finally decides that they need to have Cassie as their virgin sacrifice. <laughs> of course, that doesn't quite work out because the hard rock band comes in and plays their music and winds up bringing the zombies into an old abandoned mine in which they are locked in, and a pipe goes spraying the zombies down and everybody is done for. Cassie goes to the rock band's grave, tells Jesse he, she still loves him. He sticks his hand out with a ring and she just kisses and all that. Else. Yeah. The only star of this movie I could tell you was in it was Phil Fondacaro and this guy's been in a lot of movies. So why did this movie suck? Well, honestly, it's a low-budget horror movie but that's not really why. It's just one that I really, really was going to hope it was going to be awesome, and it turns out the band kind of sounds like Journey meets Europe. Typical 80s hard rock band. Um, and there were just so many supposed jokes in this movie that were not even funny. And they do the reference where one, one of the uh, townspeople say, it's like being in a it's like being in a horror movie and one of them says it's, it's like being in a really bad horror movie and I'm going well you're right on both counts there guys and yeah this and the band itself they're very likable guys in fact there's a uh, one video I guess you could say where where it's kind of like they're they're playing out like the monkeys or something like that so yeah, but if you want to check it out, it's here on YouTube. Um, just look for the thumbnail pic that has a van, and you should be able to see the whole movie. All right, I want to get some shout-outs, some channels. I hope you guys will go check out. Please go check out 
Horror Channel, The Horror Dimension, Wormy Horror, Dead Meat, and Corpse Husband. So there you guys have it, a review of Hard Rock Zombies. And if you've seen it, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below about what you think about it. But if you haven't, and you still want to check it out, even though I kind of spoiled it for you, like I said, it's right here on YouTube. And of course, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that made you feel like rocking out, but then it wound up putting you to sleep, send it my way, and I will get on it ASAP. And Schlocktoberfest will keep going until Halloween, where I'm saving... Saving the worst for last. And I hope you guys will check it out when it hits. So until then, thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. And as always, stay strong and rock on.